Hey everyone, today we're going to use the AI Quick Mask tool to make a creative composite inside On One Photo Raw 2019. So the first thing we need to do to start this composite is we need to mask out our subject from the background. And a quick way to do that would be to use the AI Quick Mask tool. You can grab that by simply hitting W on your keyboard. Now with the AI Quick Mask tool, the first thing you do is you brush on red the areas that you want to remove from your mask. And then, once you have those areas painted on, simply hold down Option or Alt if you're on Windows, and then paint on the areas that you want to keep. And then once you have it painted on the way you want it, simply head up to Apply, and you'll see it quickly created a mask for us and really separated our subject from the background. So now once we have it like this, we can go ahead and click Done. So now if we go into the masking options for this base layer here, and we view our mask, you'll see we have a nice outline for our subject here. Well, we're half of the way done with our mask. The next step is to invert this mask. And the reason we want to invert this mask is so that we can lay some textures and things on top of our subject, and then we can go back in and remove any of this white area from our mask to make it more blended. So I'll go back and I'll view my photo here. And now we're going to add a new layer onto our photo. And I'm just going to add this tree layer here. And now that we have a new layer added onto our photo, we're going to head over to our layers pane and we're just going to drag that below our base layer. So you'll see now that we have some nice tree overlay on top of our subject. Well, obviously this doesn't look very natural or appealing, so this is when we start blending the two layers together. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure we have our base layer selected because that's the main layer we're going to be masking on. Next, we'll make sure we have our masking brush selected. If it's not, you can hit B on your keyboard to grab it. Then we're going to head up to our tool options up here, and we're going to make our opacity about 30 to 45. Then we're going to make sure we're set to paint in. I'm going to increase my brush size with the bracket keys on my keyboard. And then I'm just going to paint in a little bit more of our subject. There we go. Now that we have a little bit of our subject revealed, now we can do the opposite and paint away this white area to reveal some of that tree texture. I'm just going to switch my mode for my brush by holding down shift and hitting X on my keyboard. Now that I'm set to paint out, I can do the same thing and kind of just bring in a little bit of that tree texture. And if you felt like you painted in or away too much, you can always just go back in and kind of fix the areas that you messed up. So there we go. Now we have those two layers blended together and they look a little bit more natural. Let's head over to our layers pane and add our third and final layer. Let's just add these birds here. And once I have that new layer, I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to grab my move tool. And then I'm just going to move them up right near the antlers. I'll make them just a little bit bigger here. There we go. Now we can hit apply. And we've added a nice creative component to our photo. The last thing I want to do is I actually want to merge these layers together using a stamp layer so that we can add a filter to bring in some nice style. So I'm just going to right click this layer here and I'm going to new stamped layer. This is going to merge these three layers together and then create a duplicate of it so that we have a whole new layer that we can play with. Now that I have that new stamped layer, I'm going to head down into my effects tab. I'm going to add a filter, and let's add a nice LUTs filter to stylize. Then I'll just dig into some presets here. And I really like this Forest Park one. So now if I turn this off and on, you'll see it really adds a nice bit of style onto our photo. 
So that's how to do a creative composite using the AI Quick Mask tool inside On1 Photo Raw 2019. I'm Dylan with On1, and stay tuned for more.